Hi there, boys and girls, it's Tuesday again, which can only mean one thing. Time to react to some Sinmer Sins by Lil Shy FIM. Oh, this ain't my first time that I have reacted to your series. I actually did this before when we were at season two. Oh yeah, family appreciation deep BB cakes, and the last round up goes free episodes, yeah. I see what you mean, Big Mac. Oh my gosh, since I reacted to Equal Strong, which is the exact opposite of this, I've been absolutely delighted to be watching this one, yo. The next two episodes for season five are Made in Manhattan and Brotherhood Social. Our journey led us to Manhattan, where Rarity and I dedicated our efforts to support Coco Pommel in reviving her neighborhood's community theater. However, just as the sister whose social was about to quench, we sadly missed it. The choice to pass on such an event left me feeling quite disheartened. Yeah, I can't believe we've missed it. Hey, at least our big brother here tried to replace you by almost doing the most embarrassing thing ever. Become an orange blossom. Well, at least it's reassuring to have school by my side as we participate in the event. Ha 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 ha, yeah. Okay, first video, so let's go. Alright, first up, made in Manhattan. Oh, Manhattan, what you do to me? I'm bored. Twilight could go almost anywhere and do almost anything, yet she chooses to sit here and be bored. Middle Finger Castle is oddly appropriate for a Manhattan episode. Hey! Well, like that's rude! ...to this particular neighborhood here. Which doesn't even look like it's part of Manhattan. Fair point there, honestly! Don't worry about me! The only thing more mysterious than how the map picks ponies for missions is the unwritten rule saying no pony else can join them. I just remembered something. The sister of social! Applejack also seemed to just remember that, even though moments ago, the social was literally her last words before being summoned. They're getting ready for the social. Yeah, very true! Also, season 3, Dijibu! For obvious reason! Also, Rarity's animation resets. And it's a similar story for AJ. This hat vendor suddenly vanishes before making a reappearance sometime later. Ponies are just disappearing and reappearing out of nowhere. It's so confusing. With your hideous OC colors, darling. Strange horizontal line appears and follows taxi driver. This will. Good grief. This Peanuts reference. Fun fact, one year and seven months after this prophetic episode, Peanuts was acquired by DHX. Hell music and animation of the flyer is a reference to the feather scene in Forrest Gump. The sin is using clever references to disguise plot convenience. Uh, it's very clever the there. The flyer is relevant to the episode, otherwise Rarity would appear very easily distracted by obnoxiously reading the whole thing out loud. Most others would discard it and carry on with the interrupted conversation. The contact on the flyer is What's with the censor on her name? She's the one who got us in trouble with the lawyers. Oh, that's the pathetic excuse. How utterly fucking stupid. No corner in sight. I can't believe you found my flyer. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? Yes, yes I do. You mean we do? are in need of help. Such need that we only spent the entire day sightseeing before disturbing you at 2 a.m. to have this discussion. How to be given the morning? One moment, then in the very next shot with no break in conversation, she's standing next to them. She probably teleported. In the event's heyday, indicates they could only comfortably fit eight ponies in the audience anyway. That's Charity Kindheart. Charity Kindheart is the sort of name that should only come from satire. This image is clearly a Photoshop edit. Look how the grass clips into the structure. Oh, oh yeah, there's no gap for what? Hey, I'm referencing here. Hey, I see Babsy here. In a last minute request to alter costumes for the cast of My Fair Philly. This exchange occurs immediately after Coco praises Charity for making the event happen no matter how busy she was. Step up your game, Miss Coco Puffs. <laughs> Uh, Coco Bus, as in the cereal bread. Nice one, they're little shy. Ponies have cabs in place of cannons, thus making cannons not cannon. Gotta love horse body parts. Related to Whoa Nelly here, but instead I'm going to point out how her branded merch flips from one side to the other. Whoa Nelly! Again, literally. Unless you need something other than a barn built, that is. All the help you need is right here. She said as she gestured to Applejack. AJ acts like she hadn't seen all of the other weeds until just now. Applejack's hat, a style worn by her late father, is as commonplace as it is disposable. I'm really hoping he's not upset at me for doing that, y'all. Goodness, no. Who's a silly pony? Who's a silly pony? You're a silly pony. Who is you? Is Applejack. Applejack? Been a silly pony since 1984. Falls down at this very moment because it's convenient for the plot. And because the universe hates snobby ponies. Can you blame it? The darling! No, I wouldn't waste blame on that! Well, the turn to Ponyville is failures. 
Why must this be Applejack? It must be Applejack because of the dreaded last roundup curse. Yeah, you and I are not going to forget about that brick and pinky promised Applejack. Pull it us already! No, Trotter on the roof is one of his favorites. Instead of balancing atop a roof while playing a fiddle, they're just stomping around up there. Sounds crazy, no? Oh, I see myself stomping on the roof. My pop used to bring me. How nice of them to stop the show and allow us a moment to reminisce. Haven't seen the neighborhood this friendly since Charity moved away. Charity is depicted as an old mayor back when she was creating the revival. No doubt that went on for some time to become established as a tradition which grown adults now recall attending as children. All this is to say, moving away is equestrian code for passing away. Yes, them too. Oh my goodness, that sin has led to a very dark outcome. Holy shit. That escalated quickly. The Midsummer Theater revival was something that meant so much to me, and it seems it means quite a lot to all of you as well. Which is why we spent the entire episode establishing how little every pony cared, and that we were better off putting on a half-baked show. To be honest, we had much bigger plans to start. Moral of the story, manage your expectations, and hope no pony asks if you have a street activity permit. Two episodes in a row with unique credit music? It's a conspiracy years in the making just to mock Cinemersins viewers, I tell you. Oh, season six has more than did you mean credit music? Something's gotta be better than nothing, right? Twice as many ponies as all of Ponyville. <laughs> There was some dope beatbox in their rarity. It is my extraordinary. Oh, gee, I deeply regret the way I sounded, every pony. I apologize for my previous tone. Plushy than anything has broken make. Oh, snap! Oh, wow. What a sizzling roast! Look like an accident at all. This ball becomes a hammer. It's like she thought you used magic. This is what happens when you're separated from other races. You start thinking that even the easiest of unicorn tasks are special. No pony would volunteer to be this castle, sister. It's just a castle. Animator tasked with animating ponies participating in a hand game using hooves. Applejack is concerned her brother's new habit may be a bad influence on Apple Bloom. <laughs> this tween frame gives AJ a manly chin. Wait, what? That's very clear. Best pony arguments in a nutshell. The episode does a good job with helping us to understand Big Mac's plight. Why, you're the best sister of all time! Probably the best apple of all time! Right, Big Mac? Then it takes a step too far when Apple Bloom insults him to his face. He ain't no hard feelings, right? There. Obviously it is something awesome because you're awesome! Laying on a little thick there, aren't we, pal? Did you seriously just talk to yourself? That's kind of a... What kind of an example would I be setting for my little sister if I didn't? She said to excuse the abandonment of her sister during an important event... Applejack, are you going to be overly cushioned with me once more? I believe you have done this in the past, haven't you? I miss when you were just a background pony. I know that in the YTP call-up that I would never be loud again, but... How many times do I have to say it? I am not a motherfucking background pony. Cut it out with the constant label, little shy. Apologies for the loud noise, every pony. But asserts authority by coming in anyway. Pretty great they're letting you participate even though you're not technically sisters. Thank you for that oddly forceful clarification, Sweetie Belle. No this need to thank me, little shy. Pony. That's Big Mac in a dress. It's pretty amazing how this show explores Big Mac's desire to bond with his sister, and it even tackles the cartoon trope of cross-dressing without making a complete mockery of all characters involved by trying to actually fool anyone. I mean, uh, Big Mac in a dress? A terrible episode. Oh, come on, that's just stinking thinking. Oh, we're related by our compatibility as sisters. And you? Don't think me and Scootaloo are gonna take it easy on you just because you're a stallion. That's just about the most hard-hitting social commentary the show has ever asserted. It's quite surprising to hear such words from Rainbow Dash of all ponies. Lyra is facing away from the stage and appears to be distracted by something in the sky. And our fathers and mothers, we honor them. Present tense honoring of fathers and mothers. Ah ha 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 ha! Line up with her eyelashes. Sounded like you were catching a cold or Missed opportunity to say he sounded a little hoarse. Oh, you're right! He sounded a little hoarse! Shadow. There! I <laughs> meant to say the phrase correctly now! There's another to add to the list of forced idioms no equine should ever use. Why, I simply have to. 
this is meant to be something he said to himself, but Applebloom is still standing right here, so it's not as internal as he thought. Yeah, probably out in turtle. Line is a terrible. Oh, wait, they must have heard me. Your prayers has been answered. Competitor sisters. I said it out loud, didn't I? Yup. Big Mac stands here doing nothing when he should be participating. Scootaloo practiced so much that she's able to snap into position. Right, Poppy? Apple Bloom was turned into liquid and forced through a spigot. I think we're well beyond almost. Yikes. Scootaloo goes in, Scootaloo comes out. Uh, oh. A Scooter chicken joke just happened! I can't believe that I heard it, but seriously, can you please cut it out with the whole chicken thing? That joke is so damn old and I can stand it! And Scootaloo is angry, shame on you. He that he's overly dedicated to winning the race for his little sister. But how does he not realize crashing through the barriers may not be welcomed by race officials? It's I okay, have no weird idea. Old guy. My waifu isn't real either. This shadow nopes out of existence. How dare this show make us watch ponies struggle with relatable interpersonal conflict operating at multiple levels of depth and characterization? We just want to see ponies shoot each other with frickin' lasers. But he's a bigger buzzkill than Buzz Killington. Hey, don't be a buzzkill! Yeah, we, we've seen the episode, Granny. There's not much of a story to tell. Oh, we're right! Sorry, little shy! And high heels if you think it'll help me get something I want. Except his shoes were about as flat as the cider in UK airings. Ha ha ha, yeah! Oh, dear. This one, please. Excellent choice. Possibly by cover of Discord by the Living Tombstone by Apple Blow. I think so, Starlight. But anyways, that was everything wrong with Made in Manhattan and Brotherhood's social. Next up, creators of the Lost Mark. I can't wait.